My name is Bradley, yeah, so basically I'm 14 and I was put into care when I was a young youth of 10. I've had five rusty foster people look after me and it's dead. Hidden my life is hard, trust me, moving from one yard to another. My family left me when I was knee height, they're joke men, I swear. They miffed out on a mad donny like me, raw. I joined SWMD gang when I was 13. They calmed me, it's like having my own family, trust. Then it started changing, people switched up on me. No one's real around here. It's all violence and all about themselves, it's crazy. My young driller was smashed by a proper neek. <laughs> I swear, I knew him like better than anyone else. No one's really than him still. No one could control my life but me. My name is Zoe. My mum was a drug addict, or it had been. I was upset with my life. But one day, I met some new friends. They were so cool and popular. I really wanted to be one of them, so I did something I do regret to this day. I sold my mum's drugs. It was working out at first. I had nice clothes for the first time. I finally was becoming one of them, but then I got caught and I went to jail. Hi, I'm Emily. I've changed a lot for a good reason though. Well, that's what I thought. It was all down to my friend, little G. Not that long ago, I didn't fit in at school. I didn't have many friends, but she was nice to me. I thought she made me feel special, but I was wrong. She was my friend at first, but things began to change. They changed quickly. She would take the mic out of me, push me, call me names. She would call me a wimp and a teacher's pet, till the day I'd had enough of it. I decided that I would show her I was not like how she made me out to be. I made a bad decision, a decision that would change my life. I was the girl who brought a knife into school. My name's Jack. Me and my family went days without eating. My dad couldn't find a job and my mum made £20 a week. But one day my life changed. I met a guy that I believed would help. But that was the biggest mistake of my life. That mistake that no one else should make. I ruined my childhood. The same childhood that you only get once. It all started the day after my 12th birthday. That day I discovered the power of drug running. I could have died that day. I had to follow his instructions very carefully. One small mistake, me and my family could have died. To this day, I still have no idea what the name of that guy was, but he had ultimate power over me. Some days I was just a normal 12 year old kid and others I was a drug runner from Portsmouth to Birmingham to Manchester. I owed him money, which I didn't have. I thought he would give me a second chance, but that was not the case. My name's Lucy and I made the biggest mistake of my life. It all started when I joined a girl gang, also known as SWG. I should have seen the red flags in everything I was made to do. These girls led me to believe I needed them and they were there to help me. We would have fights every week. I even started carrying a knife after a girl called one out on me two weeks ago. At that point, I thought it was normal for me to behave like this and carrying a knife suddenly felt acceptable to do. I followed everyone around me. This is something you should never do, even if you get rewards in return. They gave you makeup, trainers, clothes, and even money. But by the age of 17, they took my life away from me. We were all victims of child criminal exploitation and serious violence. If you or someone you know is going through something like this, do not hesitate to speak up. You can report any of the problems you heard from us to the police on 101 or 999. If you don't want to call the police, you can talk to your local council, an adult that is close to you, or report it anonymously to fearless.org. Do not let your life be ruined by exploitation or serious violence. Break the cycle now.